Hey guys, Honda checking in once again. Today's April 10th, 2015. Um, it's gonna be a different kind of day. It's not gonna be a shake go, it's not gonna be a powerlifting focus workout. It's gonna be more of a, an Olympic weightlifting, uh, you know, no holds barred, whatever I wanna do type of workout. Um, the past few months I've been, you know, hopping back and forth between programs, Candido, uh, a little bit of the Cube, a little bit of the uh, 531, and of course Shaco, and I've made great success. But, you know, obviously when, uh, as time goes on, you get, things get, tend to get stale. Um, definitely get boring. You feel re very repetitive, hitting the same weights. Um, you kind of lose focus a little bit, um, definitely. Um, I'm there, you know, obviously there's a lot of things going on in my, in my story, in my book, in my life. Um, right now I'm buying a house, uh, you know, things are going good with my career. So not necessarily everything does revolve around the gym, although it does look like it from the YouTuber standpoint, from everybody that's on here making videos. It seems like this is all we do, but obviously um, it's not. And um, if you're a, a lifter, whether you're serious, whether uh, or you're just a weekend warrior or you're a competitor um, you always have to do something to keep yourself motivated interested and uh, obviously uh, the to be quite frankly you got to switch things up um, the next few weeks uh, maybe a few months I might be just doing things that I want to do uh, definitely want to get back into uh, conditioning uh, more weightlifting um, not necessarily in a program but kind of like in a program where um, you know, I create my own, um, definitely some self-actualization, some, um, you know, auto-regulation, uh, just kind of, you know, do things to my liking and keep me motivated. Obviously having a garage gym is a motivation in itself, but, you know, working, uh, definitely thankful for everybody that subscribed to my channel. Um, I did hit my 1,000th subscriber yesterday, so whoever that was, I really do thank you and I thank for everybody who's been watching my videos and, and who has been subscribing. Definitely uh, really appreciative of everybody who's been liking and commenting and uh, definitely going to have a lot more cool videos on the way for you guys to watch. Today I wanted to do a little quick uh, snippet on uh, the hook grip. Um, people have asked me in a few videos how, how I, you know, grip the bar and uh, it's actually surprising that, you know, this isn't really widespread knowledge with all the Olympic weightlifting, how popular uh, that has become nowadays. Um, Hook gripping is, it's a great way to grip. It's a painful way to grip, but it's very effective in higher weights. It's not something I suggest that you do every training regimen. Um, a lot of people really dislike straps. I do recommend using straps just because you gotta save your hand for the heavier, heavier lifts, for those heavier days, for those days you wanna max out. And grip has never really been an issue for me. So I use straps sometimes, but uh, hook grip is definitely uh, there when I need it. Um, so I got my little tool here. Anyways, the hook grip is used, uh, you know, generally everybody uses uh, the, this type of grip, you know, the, the fingers and then the thumb. Well, what the hook grip basically is, and I'll show you some videos of me using it, is uh, basically you use your thumb as a strap. You know, as everyone know, uh, realizes, the strap is where it wraps around the bar and then you grip it. It's a piece of nylon, a piece of cloth. Um, the hook grip is, sim is you'd like using your thumb as a strap in the way that you put your thumb in first and then you grip. What this does is it prevents the bar from rotating. As you can see, sometimes, um, obviously when you grip a bar this way, the bar is going to try to roll away from where you're gripping. But when you have a, a hook grip on, it's, it, it does not tend to rotate in any direction. So that loss of rotational force will increase your uh, grip strength by 50 pounds, even to 100 pounds or more. So whenever I do a max set, max rep deadlift, I definitely Employ, I mean, uh, empl employ the the hook grip um, to do it. Also, there is some uh, some downfalls of using the alternate grip. A lot of people grip this way and this way when they do a deadlift. That alone, that also, you know, takes away the rotational force. But in the heavier lifts, uh, I've heard stories. I've never actually seen it in person, but people actually tearing their bicep tendon, but because of the fact that they're holding it this way. So if you hook grip like this and like this it really does take away that risk factor for you tearing your tendons as well as your, you know, fucking your shit up down the line. Pardon my French. Anyways, also I recommend using um, hook grip tape. Uh, there's actually a really convenient website called hookgrip.com. Um, they sell tape like this, as you can see. I don't know if you could focus on it. But, um, but anyways, it basically comes as 
uh, this little non-adhesive tape. I don't know if you can see this, but uh, so you just rip it in half, rip it like so, and then uh, you wrap it around your thumb like so. This is this type of tape. It's not like athletic tape, which is really stiff. This is really pliable. It's not sticky, and it really does protect your thumbs when you do hook grip. So it's pain free, and it doesn't hurt. It doesn't tear up your skin as much as usual. No matter uh, how calloused or how used to your skin is, it's always going to rip. So you always have to take care of your hands as well. Anyways, that's my video for today. Um, please enjoy the lifting. Uh, please do like, comment, and subscribe for all of you guys, my thousandth subscribers. I'm um, really, really happy, really thankful for that achievement, and definitely will be putting out more awesome videos in the near future. All right, guys, enjoy the video.